front desk, William. If a guest calls the front desk with a maintenance issue on the weekends or after normal work hours, the desk clerk should first ask for the guest name and the room number, then get a full description of the problem, then tell the guest they are sorry for the inconvenience and that a staff member will be up immediately to attempt to solve the problem. Yes, sir. And what is your name? And room number? Could you tell me what this is pertaining? Yes, sir, we can take care of that. I'll get them right up there to see you right away. And thank you, sir. Sorry for your inconvenience. All right. Security and maintenance to the front desk, please. Security and maintenance to the front desk. Hey, Will, what you got for me? Hey, Mr. Jones in room 809. His toilet stool is stuck. The desk clerk should explain the problem to the inside security guard and ask him or her to address the issue if it is one of the following problems. AC or heat not working, lights not working, hot water not working in the shower or the tub, TV not working, toilet is stopped up. If the problem is not one of these issues, then the guest should be given a room upgrade and asked if they would like to move to better room at no additional charge if the guest is in a premium room already, then the move will be to another premium room. Maintenance should not be called between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. Yeah, okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, thank you. And always remember, when you approach the front desk and you get a call, always approach from the side out of respect for the guests at the front of the desk. Even if there's nobody there, always approach from the side. And now we're going to go get some gloves. Anytime you're working with a toilet or anything, you always want to make sure you have gloves on. <coughs> Here's where we keep the gloves. Always on these maintenance calls, always use the service elevator. We don't want to have a dirty plunger on the regular elevators with our guests. So whenever you come up to a room, always knock, and then knock again, just in case they might be in the bathroom, they might be getting up and getting dressed. And if you don't get a response, don't just barge in, but kind of open the door slightly and holler in again, maintenance. Okay, on a, on a stopped up toilet, what you want to do, you pick up your plunger at the front desk. Take the round part right here, it goes right down in the hole in the center of the toilet. And what you want to do is pump about five times. And wait to see if the water goes down. If the water does not go down, repeat the process five more times. Wait to see if the water goes down. If the water still doesn't go down, Plunger it again five more times. And wait to see the water go down. Now, if the water doesn't go down, you're probably not going to unclog it with the plunger. So do not attempt to flush it. The only time you can attempt to flush it is once you see the water actually go down. Once the water does go down, you can flush it to get out the rest of the remaining debris. But if the water does not go down, do not flush the toilet because it will overflow onto the floor. If it does not clear, then you'll have to just offer them another room. Put your plunger back in your plastic bag. Take the toilet paper. Wipe up any drips or spills. And that's all there is to it. If you can't get it unstopped, the only other option is to move the guest to another room. Okay, so the first call was the TV didn't work. Now nine times out of ten we find that they're usually unplugged because housekeeping will unplug them, plug in a vacuum cleaner and forget to plug them back in. So the first thing you want to do is check and make sure it's plugged in. And 
and as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, this one just happens to be barely hanging in there. So this TV wouldn't have worked. You just plug it back up, put the desk back. Now you want to see if it responds to the remote control. Now this one's not responding, so what you want to do is check the batteries in the remote control by taking the back cover off, kind of roll the battery side to side. Sometimes the connections get dirty. And once you've checked the batteries, you can try again. Still don't get any response, then go ahead and change out the batteries that you picked up at the front desk. And the way these batteries go in, there's a spring in there. If you can see the spring on that side and this side, the spring always goes on the flat side of the battery. So you put that one in that way. This one goes in upside down like this. Snap your back cover on. Try it again. In this case, the TV's coming on, so you're all good. If the TV didn't come on, you would probably use the backup remote that you brought to switch them out. And if it still doesn't come on with that remote, then you would have to offer to move them to a different room. And while we're talking about TVs, Please, please don't come in here and sit on the bed because when you when they come back in, this is going to be all messed up and wrinkled and people don't like that. They like it just like they found it, all straight and proper looking. So don't ever set your soft drink up on the TV stand. Don't sit on the bed. Just be respectful of where you're at. Okay, another common call we get is the air conditioner's not working. So what's usually the problem? There's a knob that goes on top, and this little knob is usually missing, so you can't adjust the temperature. So in the event that it's missing, you're going to pick up an Allen wrench key downstairs where you got your gloves and the plunger. I'll have an Allen wrench key down there. You stick the Allen key in there. You'll feel it seat. And then what you do is you take the, the knob on the bottom. It says heat on the left and cool on the right. You put it on cool, flip it over. And then turn your Allen key and just watch the thermostat go down until you get all the way down to 50. And once it gets down to 50, you should hear your fan kick on. So you want to stick your hand up here, make sure you can hear and feel the fan running. Now in the event that the fan does not come on, some of these are wired wrong. And it goes against common sense, but what you want to do is put it on heat and then crank it up with your Allen wrench all the way up to 90. And if it is one of the ones that's wired backwards, then this will cause the fan to come on. And then you reach again and feel if you've got the fan on, and you can hear it running. Now if you can't hear the fan running, and it does not kick on, and you tried it on heat and cool, and you get nothing, then you need to suggest that the, that the guests move to a different room. Okay, another complaint that we get a lot is the lamps don't work. Now, just like the TV, nine times out of ten it's unplugged because the maid plugged in her vacuum and forgot to plug it back in. So always check the cable and make sure it's plugged in. If the lamp doesn't come on, what you want to do is unscrew the shade. And you don't have to unscrew the shade. You can reach it from underneath, but for the purpose of the video, we're going to take the top off, lift the shade off, take your bulb out, just unscrews counterclockwise. Get one of the bulbs that Will gave you down at the front desk. And it screws in clockwise. And then just reinstall your shade. And like I said, you don't have to take the shades off. There's plenty of room to get your hand up underneath. Just whatever's the most comfortable for you. While we're talking about lights, I want to explain the bathroom light real quick. A lot of times, the bathroom lights will go out, and when the bathroom light goes out, they can't see to do anything, but you can't do anything to fix it. So if you come up and the bathroom light is out, go ahead and call the front desk and suggest that the guests be moved to another room. Okay, for shower calls, 
I always move the towel and soap out of the way. Now the biggest issue with the shower is that people don't understand how they work because they're used to having a hot and a cold at their house and when they see one valve they don't understand how it works. The way this works, you turn it counterclockwise and that's cold. The further you go, the hotter it gets. If you go all the way, it's going to be hot only. So you got to find a place in the middle where you more hot than cold or more cold than hot. Once you explain that to them, they shouldn't have any problem with it. If they want to take a bath, you take this lever right here and it switches it to the bottom. In the event that you don't get any hot water or that you can't get any cold water, then you need to go ahead and move them to a different room. Okay, if you need remote control batteries or a new remote or light bulbs for the bathroom, get those at the front desk. Always approach the front desk from the side out of respect for the guests that may be at the front. Hey, Thomas. All right, so I was able to fix the toilet okay. and the air conditioner and the light bulbs okay. and the TV, so there's your remote back and your light bulbs back. Okay. And here's the Allen wrench for the air conditioner. That's a good job. If the problem is an emergency, a water pipe has busted, a fire, etc., then immediately call the maintenance person. If the problem is a fire, call the fire department at 911 first.